third down. Cross to the middle. Juggle. Diving touchdown, Nebraska. Davis and Elman deflection. Nebraska's a point away from tying the game. The deflection is caught. The fans have broken into the end zone. They expected the game to be over. But a touchdown was signaled for in the end zone. They'll clear the field and kick for the tie. We could be headed to overtime. Well, they ought to turn the sprinklers on at that end of the field, get the fans back in the stands. This is an incredible play. Frost has all day to throw, looking over the entire field, finally sees somebody he likes. Ball is popped up in the air, kicked up in the air, and Davidson with a dive. Looks like Wiggins was the intended receiver. It looked like Wiggins kicked the ball up in the air. Now Chris Brown. The most important extra point of the season for Nebraska. Needs the good snap. And we go to overtime. sends Nebraska and Missouri into the first overtime. But it was a freshman wide receiver, Davison, who somehow is able to make a miracle catch on a last second deflection of what appeared to be a foot in the end zone. Ball kicked back up in the air by Shevin Wiggins. And Davison dashes in underneath it. And by just the margin of a shoelace, Nebraska has tied Missouri. We'll be right back. Nebraska's march is forever burned into our memories. Third down. Cross to the middle. I had uh, my inside receiver to the left wide open slanting, but it, it didn't look to me from where I was like he'd get into the end zone. So I had to try to do something else. Uh, I threw it at Shevin, and at first I thought he caught it. I should have caught the ball. The ball hit me and rolled down my body. Safety came up and stepped right up there and, and stuck the guy, wrapped him and stripped him. And uh, I saw the ball come out of there, and I thought it was over. Juggle! I was like, oh, gosh. Hit the ground. Just hit the ground. I break toward the ball. And I see Julian knock it down. At this point, I'm thinking the game is over, and I slowed up. I just ran over towards Shevin. And um, as he bobbled the ball, uh, the only thing I remember is I saw it starting to fall. So I dove at his feet. I could uh, actually feel the ball in my hand. And I just thought the game was over right there. And he just kicked it out of my, my hands, literally. And just broke my heart right there. I kind of looked up, and I saw the ball. And I stuck my foot up. And I was trying to kick it back to myself, but I guess I kicked it a little too hard and it went up higher. The illegal kick, as you see. The ball was kicked uh, away from me, out towards the back of the end zone. And at that time, I thought, oh, well, there will be nobody back there. I saw a brown thing bouncing around a little bit. I'm thinking it's going to hit the ground. I kind of stop, come to a pause, and then, boom, it gets kicked up and it's floating like a punt. Wow, you know, you, you don't have time to think. As I was laying belly up on my, you know, on the ground, I noticed I saw a red flash come in. Diving touchdown, Nebraska! Davidson on the deflection! The ball was really close to the ground. Luckily, I got my hands underneath it. I saw a referee run in from my right side and call touchdown, and then it was just pandemonium. The next thing I know, uh, Matt Davidson's running down the field, you know, like a chicken with his head cut off, and, uh, then I heard somebody say touch, you know, we scored. I saw the touchdown signal. I thought, man, I sure hope I didn't see that right. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. You know, basically, like, this couldn't, he just did not catch that. And how did it get up in the air anyway? <laughs> Seven Sue might go into the, the trophy case out there. I don't know. The Missouri fans, they're running down to tear down the goalposts. They don't realize the Huskers have scored. Very, very strange seeing him dangling from the goalposts, happy cheering when, you know, at the same time, we were just low. Jones.
Jones under pressure. It's over. Nebraska wins it in overtime. A miracle finish. You would think that uh, we had won the Super Bowl or the, you know, the championship. Um, it was just hysteria. Um, everybody was just running all over the place. I wanted nothing more than for us to, uh, to prevail and, and, and win, especially after a crazy play like that. Um, but, you know, I just, uh, I started crying and <laughs> walking to the locker room because I just, it was too much to handle. Right there, ball uh, in my hand. I could have prevented it some kind of way, and I think it's still my mistake. I see it in my mind every night before I go to bed. <laughs> so it still comes up. I try to forget it, but it's still there. This I have my system now. After this interview, I'll never talk about it again. <laughs> I see it over and over and over on film, so obviously it did, but it just does not, it doesn't seem like it happened at all. Seeing all your, your fantasies and dreams before you and, and then having just taken from your clutches, thrown on the ground, stomped on, real, real pain. I guess I came here to catch the football and maybe not quite like that, but it happened. now with Aaron Taylor, who was obviously out there for this play. And Aaron, this is going to be a play, obviously, in college football. People will always remember. What was your vantage point? What do you, what do you remember about it? Uh, personally, I didn't get to see the play. I, I had a guy right in front of me that I was taking on, and then I had the linebackers back behind. So I didn't get to see, you know, the, the catch. And next thing I know, I see Matt Davis running with the ball up in the air. I was like, oh, God, I think we made it. I, I think we made it. And then I, I see, the, see the ref throw his hands up, and... It was exciting at that point. We knew we had to, had to go into overtime with that catch. And uh, actually, we had to make the field goal. And, and, or the extra point, we're sitting there all excited and uh, making sure we had a good snap, good hold, and good kick. And we, that happened. And it showed a lot of character on our part. Yeah, we've been hearing from Huskers all night long. And not only Aaron Terrell, but Grant Wistrom, big night last night. And Grant, you're getting ready to play your final game as a collegiate player. And now that it looks like it's Tom Osborne's final game, it's got to make it extra special uh, playing Tennessee in the Orange Bowl. You know, certainly there is no, no shorter, shortage of motivation playing Tennessee in Tennessee in the Orange Bowl. Uh, you know, with a great quarterback like Peyton Manning and the rest of their great athletes on their team, but also it being Coach Osborne's last game, we want to make sure that uh, he goes out on top because uh, you know he's been a class act for his 25 years in college football, and it would be a shame for him to go out uh, any other way. Congratulations. Good luck to you down there. All right, guys. Coach Fulmer just got more concerned over yeah. there. One, one thing you, the, yeah. you spotted on that play. I keep bringing this up, and the more I see the play, people forget that Scott Frost hit the receiver right in the hands. <laughs> there should have been a touchdown. But he bobbled the ball. Divine intervention. That's why I picked Nebraska to win a national title. It's God's team. If he caught it the first time, we wouldn't be standing here talking That's about right. it. The weird thing, it, it came about two yards away <laughs> from that same spot at Perot Field where seven years earlier... Yeah. That bizarre fifth down play happened in Colorado beat Missouri. A lot more coming up tonight.